Hello learners, this is Miss Melissa. Today we are going to explore land and water features. The Earth where we live is a planet. Planets in our solar system are shaped like a ball. We call this shape a sphere. The Earth has many layers. The outer layer is made of gas and water vapor, which is our sky. It stays around the Earth all the time. This layer is called the atmosphere. The solid top layer of the Earth is called the crust. Yep, just like the outside of a loaf of bread. We live on the crust. The Earth's crust has high and low places. Most of the low places are covered with water. The largest areas of water are called oceans. Oceans have salt water. Many kinds of living things live in the oceans. The bottom of the ocean has high and low places too. Smaller areas of water on Earth are lakes, rivers, ponds, and streams. Most of these have fresh water, like the water that we drink. Lakes and ponds have land all around them. Rivers and streams have land on two sides. At the top and bottom of Earth, which we call the North and South Poles, quite a lot of the water is in the solid state of matter, ice. The largest pieces of ice are called glaciers. Dry places on Earth that are surrounded by water are called islands. Peninsulas are attached to bigger places on one side. The parts of the Earth's crust that are not covered in salt water are its continents. For example, the country of the United States is part of the North American continent. The countries of Canada and Mexico are also on that continent. The tallest part of continents are mountains. Most mountains are grouped together, and we call these groups mountain ranges. The low places in between mountains are called valleys. Land that is flat for a large area is called a plain. Some flat areas are high up and are called plateaus. Plateaus cover one third of the earth. Land that is raised with sloping sides is called a hill. So how did the earth get its high and low places? There are a few different ways that these places formed. Under the Earth's crust are layers of materials. In the very middle of the Earth, it is a super hot place called the core. There is an inner section and outer section of the core. Between the core and the crust is an area called the mantle. There is a lot of pressure in the middle of the Earth. The hot liquid rock under the crust makes its way to a crack in the crust. This is how a volcano makes a mountain. The temperature on the crust is much cooler than inside the earth, so the liquid lava cools off and turns into solid rock. Over time, this rock builds up and will form a hill or a mountain. 
Another way that mountains and valleys form is due to the movement of the Earth's tectonic plates. The Earth's crust is not one solid piece, but is broken up into large sections called plates, kind of like the pieces of a puzzle. The energy inside the Earth causes the plates to move around. When two plates move up against each other, they may both push up, or one might fold underneath the other. Sometimes sections of plates sink down in a big piece called a block. The wind and rain at the Earth's surface makes changes to landforms over a long time. When the wind or rain washes away bits of the soil or rocks, it is called erosion. Land and Water Features